Hi everyone, welcome to our step-by-step -step guide on using the Reckon Accounts STP Phase 2 Migration Assistant. The Migration Assistant is the easiest way to get your business ready for the switch to STP Phase 2, and it's included in your 2023 edition of Reckon Accounts Hosted or Reckon Accounts Desktop. The Migration Assistant will step you through all the employee information and payroll items you need to review and edit in order to be STP Phase 2 compliant which we'll take you through a demo of in this video. Please note, this is an overview of how to use the Migration Assistant only. It's important that you apply the correct information requirements based on your individual situation, and we recommend checking out our help guide linked in the description for more detailed information on the new requirements under STP Phase 2. Before going ahead, it's highly recommended that you create a backup of your company file before and after migration just so you have your bases covered. Okay, let's get started. Once you're up and running on the 2023 edition, you can access the Migration Assistant by clicking the Employees menu at the top, then navigate to the STP Phase 2 Migration Assistant option, and select Launch STP Phase 2 Setup. The Migration Assistant will launch an important point to note is you have the flexibility to pause your migration tasks at any point and then seamlessly resume where you left off. When you're ready, click Next to begin. The first step is your employees, and this page will allow you to update your employee information for STP Phase 2 compliance. You'll see a list of your employees with their current information pre-filled. Select an employee or multiple employees by ticking the checkbox next to their name. You can then designate their new required information, such as their income type, for example, and any other information relevant to the employee under STP Phase 2 requirements by using the drop-down options below. Once you've selected the required options for the employee or group of employees, click the Apply button and your selections will populate in the table above. Some fields are only relevant to certain income stream selections, so they'll only become accessible when they are selected, and vice versa. For example, the home country field is only relevant to the working holiday maker stream, and it will become available once that is selected. You'll also notice the other fields are no longer available as they aren't relevant. It's important that you set this out correctly and again, we recommend checking out our help guide linked in the description for a detailed overview on the new information requirements that make up STP Phase 2 if you're unsure. When you're finished, click Next to proceed. Next up is Earnings, and you can now configure your gross earning items on the screen. Gross earning items are disaggregated under STP Phase 2 for more accurate reporting. And it's important that these items are updated correctly prior to performing your first pay run under STP Phase 2. Just like your employees previously, the Migration Assistant makes things super easy. Select the checkbox next to the pay item, and then use the drop-down to apply the new tax tracking type. You can update multiple items in one go, and you can also use the Pre-Fill Suggestions button for suggested options where available. Please note, these are only suggestions and you should review to ensure they are appropriate for the respective item. If no selection is made in the new tax tracking type field, the existing tax tracking type will be carried over and used. This can be helpful when there are no changes between the current and new tax types, such as gross payments on some earning items for example. However, for the purposes of this video, I've gone ahead and made selections for all earning items as you'll see and it's important to ensure your items are configured correctly before moving on. When you've completed all your earning items, click Next. Your allowance items are up next. There are new types of allowances available in STP Phase 2, and you'll need to review your existing allowance items to assign the appropriate tax tracking type. Select the appropriate option from the drop-down list for each allowance. You can update multiple items by ticking them first, then selecting an option from the right and clicking Apply. When you're ready, click Next to proceed. 
On this screen, you can configure your leave items. The range of leave categories under STP Phase 2 has been expanded, and you'll need to apply the appropriate new tax tracking type for your leave items. The option to pre-fill suggestions is available by clicking the pre-fill suggestions button, along with bulk updating on the right as before. When you're finished configuring your leave items, click Next. Congratulations, you've completed configuring your STP Phase 2 information. There's only one thing left to do, which is finalize the setup to switch you over to STP Phase 2 reporting. When you're ready to do so, head over to Employees, STP Phase 2 Migration Assistant, and this time select the Complete STP Phase 2 Setup option. An information window will appear to let you know your STP Phase 2 information has been imported to your file successfully. Great work, you're all done. Any new pay runs and their subsequent STP submissions you create will be done so under STP Phase 2. Thank you so much for watching. For more STP Phase 2 support, visit us at help.reckon.com or join our community at community.reckon.com.